you guys, King in the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. Last episode, we got everything in place to bring back Chrono, and we pushed through the early parts of Death Peak to where we must go to bring Chrono back. And with that, we will continue. And we have found uh, another Posey doll. Be careful, it's slippery, fall, and you'll have to start over. So, as you walk across here, uh, it's going to keep pushing you down. Like so. Go up, I think you have to tap the run button. Uh, apparently, once you get close to the center there, um, you don't have to even, like, walk very fast. I don't know why I, I wasn't running, it was... Oh, shoot. Alright, we're back. Like I said, uh... Not sure why I wasn't even running and he was able to walk over. I guess because it's a narrow part. Uh, there's less resistance. I don't know. Try it again. Actual, actually, it looks like as soon as you get to that part, you don't even have to run anymore. You just kind of have to walk your way through, and I'll probably give this a couple more tries, and then I'll have to pause it and do it off recording, just to make sure I can get across this without wasting a whole bunch of recording time. Here's not bad, and then as soon as you start going up here, it looks like there's a little... Actually, it's not... Alright, now it's doing it. Alright, we got it crossed. Thank God. Uh, how are we doing? I just want to make sure I don't die and have to redo all that again. Let's hop Moral off here and give Robo a couple. And we're good. Okay, we have a waterfall of Kraken crackers here. Uh, Edict Blade, I think that's for... Rog. This guy's catching up to us. Gonna outrun it. Right, now we're on the other side of the cave that we walked through. The last posy doll. Push the shell, climb the shell. Uh, I'm sure we'll know what that means when, when we come to it. Okay. Go down first. This is a chest. We saw when we first walked in, Dark Helm. I believe that has 50% resistance to uh, darkness. Give us a quick save here. Future. Okay, and as soon as we run up here, there is another. Any lobos. And same strat as last time. I feel like since Magus is doing the least amount of damage, because he's not really a physical hitter, uh, I'm probably going to make him use a Lappies here and kill everyone up. bit of extra health keeps us in a safe zone. If we get hit again, we can still just keep working away at this thing. Oh, it actually put Lava back in uh, Magus to sleep. Hopefully if he attacks again, he attacks Magus. Yes, good. Walls, he can be affected by chaos now. Because if he is, that's not good. Alright, we got it. No worries. Did 
Uzi punches. Pretty damn good. Right? And by push the shell, this is what he meant. Okay, now we'll climb the shell. Actually, is there anything back here? I don't see anything. Go. Climbed the shell. So, I want to do a quick change here. her health. Uh, she's a little low on everything. And we'll use an ether on her too. Ah, uh, there's a chest here. Got one memory cap. Looks like there's a lavos here on the left hand side of the screen, but I think it's just a graphical glitch. And We've made it to the top. Let's get Chrono. So this is the summit of Death Peak. All who fear the night and stand against the darkness, please give us strength. Chrono. The pendants reacting. Shattered. But we've come so far. Don't be sad. It was silly to think we could get him back. Please answer me. Don't leave me. Chrono. Time freeze. I never thought it possible. Chrono. The Chrono Trigger. The Guru's Time Egg. And there we all are. We're back at that instant. Uh, that's why I wanted to have Luca in the party here. Uh, I think their dialogue with her and Mara are probably a little bit better from this part. But we can't interact with anybody. Except... For Chrono. We'll just exchange the clone for Chrono. Chrono? It's Chrono. Chrono, you're alive. You've got to hurry. Save the holos for later. We've got work to do. Chrono. Welcome back, Chrono. I'm so glad you're back, Chrono. We... We knew this day would come. You mustn't. You can't do that ever again.
While you were away, a lot of things happened. First we, and then... And after that we... But Chrono, are you even listening? There's so much you have to know. If Marl is not in the party, you do not get that scene. It doesn't happen with anybody else. So, wanted to make sure she was there. So we got the extra footage. So here he is. He's back. Talk to him. Will you take Chrono? Absolutely. Chrono will be the first one in the party. I will have Magus as the third person in the party. Uh, this is going to be my main lineup, I believe. I like these three with the capabilities they have. It's, Magus has okay physical ability. Uh, I like Marl for her healing, so that's what I'm going to roll with. So, looks like you were successful. No, don't thank me. I didn't do a thing. I just gave you a place to begin. If you really want to thank me, make me a member of your team. <laughs> By the way, the Wings of Time has come looking for you. It seems to have a heart and mind of its own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open to you. You may use the bucket or fly to or fly the Wings of Time to the Day of Lavos. Or there's the Black Omen, which floats in the sky above your world. Lavos is somehow connected with it. It's up to you to decide when and where to fight Lavos. By now, you must realize you are the only ones who stand a chance against him. However, you will not be alone. I have had vague glimpses of events, people, and places that will empower you. In the Middle Ages, a woman's sheer, a woman's sheer determination brings a forest back to life. A fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy, maintains an evil hideout. There's a task to be done in the future where machinery originated. And there's a very special stone that can shine its light on each generation in the distant past to the far future. There's the ghost of a lofty knight slain by Magus in the Middle Ages who haunts the present. There's an object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person fast. Just as you touch the lives of every lifeform you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. Battle live up to your potential, and you will never win. I'm sorry that I must simply witness the coming spectacle from my vantage point here. So, he just lifted off a bunch of side quests, which I plan on doing, because I love this game and have so much fun with it. And he is just going to go through all the same things again. I wanted to make sure he didn't have something different for us. And he stuck us here, going through this all again. Jesus. <laughs> I regret talking to him again. I just picture him yelling at us from across the uh, end of time here. Just as you touch the lives of every life form you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. <laughs> all right. So we are going to do all the side quests. Before I end this episode, I do want to take a shot at Specchio here. And I do want to just say uh, that we can fight Lavos at any point because Lavos is so connected with the different the different times, excuse me. So that's what he was referring to: is that uh, he's just about everywhere. You can pick your poison, and Specchio is, uh, I believe, at his final form here. This might be really tough to do. I'm gonna give it a shot. I probably won't make it. Hey, punk! <clears throat> hey, punkhead! Where you been? A uh, little dead. We're gonna do some practice here. I probably need to equip all the special armor that I picked up with absorbing certain elements. So let me do that real quick. Um, because he only uses the 
These are helms. This is a good help. Actually, the dark helm is pretty decent. Huh? Gives me plus two. I don't think he really does shadow hits. I will do lightning on Chrono. Tomorrow I will give her blue, and I will give red to Magus, I guess. Flash mail. Right, that's just regular uh, armor. So he loses a little bit of everybody loses a little bit of physical defense, but uh, they won't take any damage to what they are wearing. So going to give this a shot here. I don't know how it's going to go, like I said, but. I'm not gonna get super serious with it. Okay, so does he start off with shadow damage? Oh, he just one shot all of us. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to come back here once we finish all the side hunts. Because uh, that wasn't happening. Uh, well, unless he just does all fire damage to. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some speed tabs, it seems. And that'll take him out because he's got the red vest on. Alright, so he's not he's not uh beatable yet. But for now I'm gonna put all the proper gear back on these guys. Actually, she's better off with blue now on. And Magus will have the Raven armor on. Alright, I'll probably mess around with the equipment uh, off-camera to make sure everyone's optimized to how I want them. I also gotta plan out how I want to do the side quests. So, for now, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all different time. Peace.